And here is question number 13 of YAC 2025 for the mathematics examination, the theory questions. An association is made up of 10 journalists and 9 engineers. If a committee of four members is to be formed from the association, we are asked to find the probability that it will consist of at least two engineers, 75% journalist, and odd number of engineers. Let's get started. Remember, probability is equal to the expected outcome divided by the sample space or the total possible outcomes. All right. Let's start with the sample space. Uh, let me call it SS. SS equal to, we would like to find this total number of people. You can see that we have 10 journalists and we have 9 engineers. Altogether, we have 19 people, but we are selecting only 4. Therefore, 19 combination 4 will give us the sample space. That is the total possible outcomes. So we have 19 combination 4. Just take your calculator and press 19 combination 4. 19 combination 4. This is equal to 3,876. 3,876. This is our sample space. Now let's start with A part. The A part, we ask to find the probability that at least two engineers will be inclusive, which means that we could have two engineers, three engineers, or even four engineers, because at least means what? greater or equal to. All right. So if we have two engineers, remember engineers, the total number of uh, engineers are nine. So we are selecting two. So that will give us what? Nine combination two. But if we have selected two here, remember the members are what? Four. We have to select two from the journalist and they are 10 in number. So multiply by 10 combination two as well or you add. You could have three members here, nine combination three. If we select three here, we have to select one person here. So that would be 10 uh, combination one, or nine combination four. If we select four here, at least two engineers. Multiplied by what, 10 combination zero. If you observe, the sum here must be four because we are selecting only four. So this is what we need to simplify in order to get the expected outcomes. So this is equal to, from my calculator, I'm going to press nine combination two. Nine combination two is equal to 36. Multiplied by uh, 10 combination two as well which is 45 plus 9 combination 3, which is 84, multiplied by 10 combination 1, which is 10, plus 9 combination 4, which is 126, 10 combination 0 is 1. All right, this is what we need to simplify. 36 multiplied by 45, that will give us 1,620 plus 84 times 10 is 840, then plus 126. Let's add up 1,620 plus 840 plus 126. This is equal to 2,586 altogether. Therefore, we can say that the probability that at least two engineers are selected is equal to the expected outcomes, which is 2,586 divided by the sample space, which is 3,876. 3,876. This to the simplest form is equal to 431 
divide by 646. But if you like, you can write it in decimal, which is approximately equal to, in three decimal places, 0 0.667. So this is the probability. Let's move on to the B part. The B part, we are asked to find the probability that 75% of these four people are journalists. Okay, what is 75% of four? That's what we need to uh, find out. 75% of four, this is equal to at 75 divided by 100 multiplied by four, if you simplify, this is going to give you three. It means that we have to select three people from the journalist. And journalists, remember, they are 10 in number. So that is going to give us 10 combination three. We are looking for the expected outcomes. 10 combination three. So if we select three here, we have to select only one from what? Engineers. Nine combination one. So this is equal to, what is 10 combination 3? So 10 combination 3 is equal to 120 multiplied by 9 combination 1 is 9. And 120 times 9 is equal to 1080. This is the expected outcome. Therefore, we say that the probability that 75% are, is it journalist? Journalist. is equal to 1080 divided by the sample space, which is 3876, 3876. This is to the simplest form, 90 divided by 323. But in decimal, three decimal places, 0 0.279. This is the probability. And the last question, and the C part, we are asked to find the probability that the members selected consist of odd number of engineers. Remember, the total members we need are four. So one is an odd number. If you select one here, then you select three here, right? The next odd number is three. You select three here, then you select one here. So let's start. Um, the first odd number is one. So we have... 9 combination 1, 9 combination 1 times 10 combination 3, right? If we select 1 here, we select 3 here. Then the next odd number is 3, that is 9 combination 3. Then we have to select one person here, 10 combination 1. All right, let's simplify. 9 combination 1 is 9, but what of 10 combination 3? 10 combination 3 is equal to 120 plus 9 combination 3 is equal to 84 multiplied by 10 combination 1, which is 10. Let's simplify this. 9 multiplied by 120 is equal to 1080 plus 840. Let's add up together. This is equal to 1920. This is the expected outcome. Therefore, the probability of old engineers, right? Let me confirm. Yeah, engineers is equal to 1920 divided by the sample space which is 3876, that is 3876. This is to the simplest form equal to 160 divided by 323. And in decimal place, this is 0 0.495 in three decimal places. And this is all about question number 13. Now let's move on to question number 14.